Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back! If you always want to know what's going on in guitar world but never have time to follow, you've come to the right place. In today's Akin Muse show we're going to talk about Dave Mustaine, KK Downing, who is a former Judas Priest guitarist, about Metalocalypse and more. Less than waste time and let's get started. As a warm-up, let's talk a little about Fender and Dean guitars. And just last time I mentioned that the only news I hear about Fender is that they are launching new equipment. Unlike Gibson, you don't have to guess uh, what's going on with Fender. Every month I see the news, Fender launched that and that and that and this equipment and more of those guitars or they are issuing their some of the old and iconic models. Boring! And recently Fender's chief financial officer Matt Genepal has revealed that in 2022 the company had to deal with approximately 100 million uh, worth of cancelled orders. <laughs> the crazy number. What equates uh, almost to uh, 600k of guitars and 200k amps. <laughs> That's what I mentioned. <laughs> they produce too many stuff. And this happened because the priorities changed for many people after the pandemic. Fender took the action by slowing down the manufacturing. They also had to deal with oversupply of their products. Yeah, the pandemic changed the world. And now it's getting normal again. <laughs> Whatever it could mean in the current reality. And I believe the same potentially happened to other manufacturers. Because yeah, the pandemic situation was the unique one. And by the way, like this video, that's not for my vanity. That's how YouTube will recommend this to others like you. And the more people will see this. And that's for my vanity. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's continue. Dean Guitars is currently facing a legal battle, as its parent company Armadillo is being pursued uh, for debts of approximately 10 millions of dollars. Court documents revealed that the bank is attempting to foreclose uh, on Armadillo's debt and demanded the firm uh, to turn over its business assets, including all the equipment and all the inventory. And just a couple of months ago I told you about that case which they lost against Gibson. In April of this year the court ordered Amadilla to pay almost 160k to Gibson for using Treadmark. If you don't know, Amadilla is a parent company of Dean Guitars. But that's not the end of the story. Pamela Curris Robinson uh, used her position as a sole shareholder to vote against CEO Evan Robinson. Soon after, they got into a number of legal skirmishes. The most attentive viewers could notice uh, the similarity of their last names. Pamela Curris Robinson is the mother of Evan Robinson. What is Santa Barbara? Get your popcorn ready! The fate of Dean Guitars hangs in the balance. We'll see. Dave Mustaine the Megadeth a vocalist and guitarist reflected on the band's success over the years. He revealed that he never thought he'll be successful for over than 40 years straight. Mustaine also advised people to have their own critical thinking and not just do what others tell them to do. He also mentioned that Megadeth happened only because of the revenge. Some of you know that he previously uh, was the part of Metallica's band. But he was fired from there in April of 1983 over tensions relating to his alcoholism and fight with James Hetfield. On April 11th of 1983 uh, he was woken up by the rest of the band uh, and sent back to Los Angeles with one-way ticket. So he was eventually fired. And there uh, he realized 
uh, he wants to create his own band as a kind of revenge. That's fun how we get one of the greatest metal bands. Another fun fact about him that after auditioning uh, multiple singers, he finally decided to take this role himself. Kinda, he cannot be worse than those dudes. <laughs> But now it seems to be everything is alright between him and Metallica, cause he also shared the story that he was kinda shocked in a good way when uh, the first time he heard James Hatfield play guitar. He told that uh, that time they were looking for a rhythm guitarist and could not find anyone. And that's when uh, James Hatfield picked a guitar and Dave Mustaine didn't even know he could play guitar. And he said that time, hey, you should combine both. You can be a singer, you can play guitar. And last but not least, in the recent Megadeth show, one of the drunken fans claimed that he could play guitar better than Dave Mustaine. Fans can be crazy, right? <laughs> Dave Mustaine had to remove this fan from the show. A lot of bands had problems because of their fans. For example, during the show at Long Beach Arena in USA, uh, Metallica's fans has destroyed cushions. Uh, they played them kind of frisbee. <laughs> and Metallica was charged for 300k of US dollars. Let me know in comments uh, if you ever were on any of those sites on the band side or on the fan side, and what did you do? Metal Ocalypse, one of the greatest animated TV series created by Brandon Small. It was released in 2006 and it's all around the fictional death metal band Death Clock. The band members are Dayton Explosion, Swissguard Swigelf, Pickles, William Murderface, and Toki Wartus. I really enjoyed the first two seasons as they have a lot of humor, kind of silly jokes, and of course death metal. In seasons 3 and 4 they decided to add more plot development, which in my opinion has negative impact to the humor. And now, 10 years after, we got the final of that story. Metal Ocalypse, Army of the Doomstar. The film is closer in spirit to the last two seasons of series, which means less humor, less music. I already watched it and can say it was a bit long in places, but that doesn't mean that the bad movie. I still enjoyed it. It was nice to see Death Clock again. If you somehow unfamiliar with Metalocalypse Universe, I would highly recommend you to watch it at least the first two seasons. Especially if you like silly jokes, <laughs> I hope that's why you're here on my channel. On the starring list you can find a lot of famous names, like uh, singers, guitarists, uh, there are some of them. George Corpus Grinder Fisher, the lead singer of Cannibal Corpse, Marty Friedman, Megadeth guitarist, Angela Gasso, former lead of Arch Enemy. Kirk Hammett and James Hatfield from Metallica, Scott Young, rhythm guitarist from Anthrax, Emily, lead vocalist from Evanescence, Jeff Loomis, Nevermore and Arch Enemy guitarist, also such stars like Joe Triani, Slash and Steve Vai, and many many more. It definitely worth watching. And the last part for today is about Judas Priest. According to their former guitarist KK Downing, he won't be playing with the band again. Downing had asked if they would consider him stepping back into his rightful place. But Glenn Tipton and Jan Hill wrote through their lawyers the flat no. He was kinda shocked by this decision. Especially uh, he didn't expect it uh, from Jan Hill uh, who was the former close friend of him. And now KK Downing uh, is playing in his KK Priest band. The band has already released their first album in September of 2021, which is called The Thermos of the Sinner, and now it's expected they are re releasing a new record in September of 2023. 
And KK Dowling also shared another frustration that he wasn't allowed to walk the red carpet with his former band Judas Priest in that uh, Rock Hall event. But like we saw with Dave Mustaine, we get another great band after he left Metallica. Uh, we'll see what we'll get here. Sometimes this happened for good. Like this video. YouTube will recommend this to others like you. Hit the bell and subscribe to my channel. You will never miss any new videos from me. And if you enjoyed this, please consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can always find more different stuff, including my silly jokes. You always can find them there. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.